Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring quest guide video with a guide on fully completing the Millicent quest line that involves Gowrie in fighting Melania and getting a secret ending as well. Let's jump into it. You begin by speaking with Gowrie at his shack in Kaled. He wants you to find Millicent and you do that by unlocking the barriers in Celia or you can go to the Fort Farith and then you can drop down to reach the Plague Church. Speak with Millicent at the Plague Church you need to get the gold needle from Commander O'Neill to help her, and he is located in the swamp areas. Defeat him and give the needle to Gauri. Then you can reload and then speak with him again, and he will give you the gold needle to give to Millicent. And when you return to Millicent and give her the needle, she will give you a talisman that raises intelligence, which is pretty decent. Speak with her at Gowrie's shack, and then you can reload the game and you can speak with Gowrie once more, and Millicent has disappeared. Now we're going to have to travel to many different locations and speak with her. From here, she moves to the Erdtree Grazing Hill, and a lot of people have had difficulties in finding her, but you simply go to the Grand Lift of Dectus, and there's a grace point right there. You can go left to the Lux Ruins, and outside of the Lux Ruins is a site of grace, and she's just up the little hill from there, and I will show you exactly where in the video. You can speak to her there, and you need to find her an item. You get an arm from the Shaded Castle, and you can give it to her. After this, she moves once more. Go to the Windmill Village. She will be there next to the Point of Grace after you defeat the Godskin Apostle, and then you can speak with her once more. After this, she has moved to the Mountain Tops of the Giants, and you will have to activate the Grand Lift of Rold, and then you can go to the Ancient Snow Ruins and speak with her there. She moves from here to the Halic Tree. To access the Halic Tree, you're going to have to find the two secret medallions. One of them is in the village of Albernorix, and the other in Castle Sol after defeating Commander Nial. And I have videos in the description of how to reach them. They're not difficult if you are a decent level. Go to the prayer room in the Halic Tree area, which will take a bit of time to reach, and speak with her there. Remember, if she is not here at any of these locations, you probably haven't exhausted her dialogue options from the previous locations because she wasn't here when I got here and I realized I hadn't spoke to her twice at the previous location in the snow area. So from here, continue on through the Halig tree to reach the drainage area and Millicent won't be going anywhere from now on until after this. And once you reach the drainage area channel grace, you can go backwards a little bit and make your way to the area on the left with a rot worm enemy. You can cheese them if you want to for an easier fight, and then a summoning sign will appear on the right where you can choose to help Millicent or you can decide to attack her. And what you choose will be important. So if you decide to kill Millicent, you will be rewarded with Millicent's prosthesis, which will increase your dexterity by 5, and you will also get the Rotted Wing Sword Insignia, which increases damage on consecutive attacks. Plus, when you return to Gauri, he is dead and he drops a talisman that greatly increases the potency of incantations. So that all sounds good. However, if you choose to help her, you will get the gold needle back and this is needed for one of the game's endings. So I'm going to choose to help her to get the secret ending and I'm going to help her beat her sisters. And once you do, you will get the rotten wing sword insignia as well. Speak with her. Make sure not to jump on her when you drop down as... Other players have reported accidentally killing her by doing that. Reload the area again and she will be dead and you will get the gold needle back. You can also return to Gauri to get a few more lines of dialogue. Now, you have to go on into the roots of the Halig Tree and defeat Melania. And she is a very tough boss battle. But after she's defeated, you can use the gold needle and it will upgrade to Micaiah's needle. Lastly, you use the Micaiah's needle 
as part of a secret ending. I haven't done it myself because I'm fully completing the game before I do any of the endings. But basically, you need to get the Dragon Lord plus the Dusax, and you can use the needle in his chamber. You don't have to defeat him, you just use the needle when you're in there. And this will revert being burned by the Frenzied Flames if you choose to do that. But like I said, I haven't actually done that yet, but that is what the needle is for. Anyway, that is for you to enjoy on your own. So that is it for the Millicent, Gauri, and Melania related questline and secret ending. It doesn't seem like too much, but it does take you a long time in order to do this quest because you have to get to one of the last places you reach in, in the game, which is the Halic Tree. But if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more Elden Ring guides, and I will see you all in the next one.